Hi. Welcome to ASM Tower software tutorial videos. Now we are going to define that base connection. From the geometry group, open the base connection. Enter the name of the connection. This name can be used once and should not be repeated with any other base connection. Select the Bolt Detail tab. Any complex configuration of the arrangement of the bolts can be defined here. You just need to specify the coordinates, diameter and grade for each bolt. You can use this wizard to calculate the coordinates of the bolts. You can add multiple groups of bolts with this wizard to the bolts table below. Each bolt group can be in circular or rectangular arrangement. Here we will add one group of four anchors in a rectangular arrangement. Set the bolt arrangement equal to rectangular. Enter the diameter of the bolt as equal to 30 millimeters. You can change all units of all entries. You can use the international system of units or the imperial units. Select the grade of the anchor bolt. We choose high tensile steel according to ASTM F1554-55. Enter the number of bolts equal to 2 in the direction of the width side. Enter the number of bolts equal to 2 in the direction of the height side. Enter the width of the arrangement equal to 200 mm. Enter the height of the arrangement equal to 200 mm. You see a set of bolts are drawn in the upper right side of the dialog box. Let's try modifying the number of bolts to understand the numbering methodology. Now the number of bolts on each side of the width direction is equal to 4. Now the number of bolts on each side of the height direction is equal to 3. Enter again the number equal to 2. Also enter 2 here. So far, we have not added any anchor bolts to the connection. To do this, click the Add button. Now all entries in the top wizard are cleared. The drawing of the bolts in the top right was removed. Bolts are added to this table. In each row of the table, you see the characteristics of each anchor bolt. You can modify any anchor in the table and you can add another set of bolts with the upper wizard again. All the anchor bolts in the table are drawn on the lower right side of the dialog box. Select Connection Detail tab. The dimensions of the base plate may be assumed to be one and a half times larger than any bolts on each side. The anchor arrangement of the bolt that we have identified is a square with a dimension of 200 millimeters. Let's enter the square base plate with dimension equal to 300 millimeters. Enter both width and height equal to 300 millimeters. Select the Anchor Assembly tab. Enter the anchor bolt length 1300 millimeters. Length O is the length from the end of the concrete to the end of the anchor bolt. Length O is equal to the thickness of the grout or space below the base plate, the thickness of the base plate, the thickness of the washers, the thickness of the nuts used and at least one diameter as an additional length to cover any problems of misallocation. Typically, anchor bolts are installed using double nuts above base plate and thickness of the nut is almost 0.8 times anchor diameter. Therefore, thickness of double nuts equal to 1.6 times anchor bolt diameter. Enter O equals 200 millimeters. RS dimension is the maximum distance from anchor bolt to reinforcement in concrete. While drawing foundation details, this dimension should be minimized as much as possible to avoid the needs of long anchor bolts. Enter RS equals 200 millimeters. This value should be rechecked again after the foundation design. The dimension A is the distance from the bottom end of the anchor bolt to the top surface of the anchor head. The user can choose between different types of anchor bolts by clicking on the sketch of the anchor bolt and scrolling down the list. The deformed anchor bolt or anchor bolts with L-hook, anchor bolts with J-hook can be used. 
The headed anchor bolt is suitable for anchors subjected to high tension forces. Enter 70 millimeters. Now we'll type the details of the reinforcement in the foundation. All these data should be rechecked once the foundation design has been completed and the final dimensions are obtained. Enter the diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement in the foundation column equals 20 millimeters. Spacing is the minimum distance between any two consecutive reinforcements. Set it to equal to 150 millimeters. This side cover is the distance between the longitudinal reinforcement in the foundation column and the side of the concrete. Set the cover to 50 millimeters. The top cover is the distance between the end of the longitudinal reinforcement in the foundation column and the top surface of the concrete. Set the top cover equal to 25 millimeters. Suppose that longitudinal reinforcement in the foundation column is not epoxy coated. Therefore, we will not check this option. The use of epoxy coated reinforcement usually requires a longer development length. This is the yield strength of the longitudinal reinforcement in the foundation. Set the yield strength equal to 420 megapascal. You also have the option of using foundation reinforcement with hooks to reduce the length of their development and thus reduce the embedded length for anchor bolts. Click on the image in the upper right to select the reinforcement with the hook. Once the reinforcement with end hook is selected, the RL entry will be activated, so the user can define the length of the hook. ACI318 allows you to reduce development length of the reinforcement by its usage ratio. This will reduce the development length required for longitudinal reinforcement and hence the embedded length of the anchor bolts. The force in each rebar is equal to its area multiplied by yield stress and its utilization ratio. Less utilization ratio of column reinforcement will give less development length required for the anchor bolt. Because each reinforcement rebar will have less force to be transferred to the anchor bolt. You can set this utilization ratio by 0.8 and then verify this value after you have finished designing the foundation column. There are two types of splices, class A and class B. Class A will be based on the development length of the reinforcement rebars, but class B will be based on the splice length of the reinforcement rebars. Class B is the default value assumed by ASM Tower. To change this, the user has to uncheck this box. The concrete compressive strength equal to 21 megapascal. All reinforcement properties should be checked again after foundation design. Attention! You can define several base connections in the same project and you can assign these connections to a guy anchor base or to a strut base. But only one connection can be used under the tower legs. To set a connection to be used under the structure, you must select this option. You can select this option for only one connection. Select this option if grout is used below the base plate. Select this option if leveling nuts are used below the base plate. This is the clear distance between the bottom of the nut or the base plate and the top surface of the concrete. Enter here the maximum dimension that may occur due to the tolerances of the formwork. Enter 50 millimeters. Increasing this dimension may make the anchor bolt unsafe. Attention! You must click the Add button to add the connection with the current entries to the project connections list. Without clicking the Add button, your connection entries will be lost. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. To see the plan view, click the XZ button. If the connection is added in the wrong direction, you can rotate it. From the geometry group, open the base connection dialog box. Suppose there is an imaginary line between the connection center and the tower center. This red arrow shown in the sketch represents the direction from the center of base plate to the center of the tower. 
This is the angle between the horizontal axis and the imaginary line. Set the angle equal to 45 degrees to rotate the connection. Click Update. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Now you see the connection is rotated 45 degrees. Click the Fit button. Move the view by left-clicking and moving the mouse. Rotate the view by right-clicking and moving the mouse. Click Save. Click Analysis. The analysis is complete. Click Done. The report is now open. You see, the safe structure is written in green. The basic connection is safe with a usage ratio of 0.84. Close the report.